Huh. The ground's real soft everywhere here. I think it must be a swamp. I bet as soon as it rains, you can't put one foot in front of the other. This building must be the only one you can still get into. The lid is partly fallen in. That would appear to have been a few years back, though. The lid has partly fallen in. That would appear to have been a few years back, though. Obviously a wild, romantic place. Only the stinking swap outside ruins the atmosphere. This stone statue is covered in moss, like the others. It's carrying a metal shield. Unusual. A stone figure holding weigh-in scales. The scales are empty. Could be Poseidon. Well, the statue's got a trident in its hand, at least. The shield hasn't been moved in years. Ugh, false alarm. There are two belts. They look like carrion slings. And they look new. The belts are a ripstop weave. They'll sure hold quite a bit. In horror stories, there's always secret passageways under sarcophaguses like this. And they always lead down into secret underground chambers. In reality, though, I think I can exclude that idea. There are only probably some horrible beetles and corpse-eaten maggots in there. That's strange. The lid isn't sitting flush on the sarcophagus. There are some stone chips which have come off the edge. Doesn't look all too old. I think that the sarcophagus was open recently. But I wouldn't know what that's got to do with me. It's not going to help me find where I am. I think that the sarcophagus was open. Obviously a wild, romantic place.
The trees only have their first branches quite high up, and barely any leaves. They're obviously not doing too well, but they're still too thick to break them and bring them down. The statues are of veiled women, grieving for the dead. In their book it says... Uh, nothing. Uh, no. I don't need to strain myself there. It's well fixed. A certainly old, but still functioning water tap.
the rip in the pipe is so big that I can just as well let the water splash into the ground. The boy's around 12 years old, I guess. Looks like he could be watching me. Hey, kid! I know you're there. <laughs> Come out, I'm not gonna hurt you. You couldn't anyway. I'm much too quick for you. If you say so. I'm Darren Michaels, a mighty physics student. I'm Van Helsing. Whoa! Uh, the Vampire Hunter? I always thought you were a bit older, sir. <laughs> Can you tell me where I am? What's this castle? Eh? It's the old Gordon's place. The Gordon's? From Willow Creek? Willow Creek? I don't know what you're talking about. Sir Richard and Lady Eleanor used to live here. And where are we exactly? Where? In Wales. Oh, great. Have you seen the two men who are living in the castle now? Yes. Nasty men. Heh, <laughs> you bet. One of them chased me. Said he would call the police if I don't disappear. I'm sure he wouldn't do that. The woman was much nicer. Which woman? The pretty one. I see. Was here a few weeks ago. She was snooping around and asked me about the summer house and the laboratory. And then she went. She took some blood samples with her. Strange. Uh, did she tell you her name or what she planned to do with them? She needed the blood for research. Angelina said. Whoa, what? Or research. Maybe she's a vampire hunter too. What did the woman look like? Well, like a woman. Pretty. Like this? Did she look like this? Yes, that's her. But she had long blonde hair when she was here. I liked her much more like that. Long blonde hair. And, and when did you say she was here? was before my birthday, about four weeks ago. Long before we coincidentally bumped into each other in Biddeford. What exactly did the woman do when she was here? Looked at the castle in the summer house, especially the house. Do you know what she did there? Looked for something. I think she tried to get into the old laboratory. At some point, she gave up and started searching at the tomb in the marshes. I had to go home because it was starting to get dark. When I came back the next day, she walked past me coming from the summer house. She had a bag of blood in her hand and was very happy. And then, she left. What kind of summer house is that? 
it's all ruins. Blew up. Really? Yes. Long time ago. My father says that old Sir Richard died in the explosion. He had his laboratory in the summer house. He was a scientist. I think he was a vampire. Really? Of course. He experimented with blood. Who else does that kind of thing? Maybe you're right. And they gave up the castle after the explosion? Maybe. That was ten years ago. Since I've been coming here, the castle has always been empty. I saw some toys in the castle. Are they yours? Yes. All my things. And my car. I got that for my birthday. I daren't go in there since those men have been there. You better not. They're dangerous. Are they werewolves? Uh, no. B but they kidnapped me. Cool. That's a nice hatchet you got there. Mm-hmm. I found it. Do you think I could borrow it? A vampire hunter never puts his weapon down. I see. Do you never have a break from being a vampire hunter? What else can I play? All my toys are inside. That's a nice hatchet you got there. Mm-hmm. I found it. Do you think I could borrow it? A vampire hunter never puts his weapon down. I see. Do you never have a break from being a vampire hunter? What else can I play? All my toys are inside. Listen, uh, Van Helsing, C can you do me a favor and keep watch for the car and, and the other man coming back? I need to have a look around here and, uh, I need a lookout. Of course! Nothing gets past me. Excellent. It can't possibly be a coincidence. Angela snoops around the Gordon estate, and I discover a connection to this very family in Biddeford. Did Angelina lie to me? The question is, did she have a good reason, or... or does she work for the Order? I can't leave here before I found some answers. Hey, look! Oh, my car! He's still tied up and unconscious. Well, I do know I'm in Wales, and I could certainly get it out of the kid exactly where in Wales. But before I ring the police, I need to find out what Angelina was after here. So, no police. I don't know what I could ask him at the moment.
I'm gonna keep this portrait of Angelina. She looks just stunning. <laughs> Most beautiful girl. Three very similar trees, all about as thick as an arm, about three or four yards tall, and pretty bent over by the wind. Luckily, it seems to have not rained here for a while. That's why the Morris is relatively hard and dry. Otherwise, I would have sunken deeper and might not have been able to get out on my own. A certainly old, but still functioning water tap.
the little guy's hatchet. Oh, it's seen better days. Can I just borrow the hatchet? Yeah, of course. Trees only have their first branches quite high up, and barely any leaves. They're obviously not doing too well, but they're still too thick to break them and bring them down. This'll take a while. The axe is real blunt. Okay. I felled the trees and trimmed the trunks for a good one and a half yards. The tree trunks are about an arm's thickness and pretty long. The tree trunks are about an arm's thickness and pretty long. Obviously a wild, romantic place. The lid has partly fallen in. Little Van Helsing reckoned that Angelina had spent a long time messing around the tomb here. And here's the lid, not lying squarely on the sarcophagus. There are some stone chips which have come off the edge. Doesn't look all too old. Angelina had opened the sarcophagus. That much is clear. But why? I'll place the sling around the back right corner, and the other around the front left one. The slings are exactly long enough to touch in the middle. Great idea! Oh, but sadly I've forgotten my crane. You know, the one I wanted to hang the pulley from? that go? You can somehow rig up a tripod out of three pieces of wood. So, and then like so. Yep, exactly. And now, one tripod. Just has to be erected now. I'll position it as well as I can over the sarcophagus.
great idea. Oh, but sadly, I've forgotten my crane. You know, the one I wanted to hang the pulley from? I'll hang the pulley on the rope. I'll try to get as much of the rope as I can. The length just makes it. In theory, I ought to be able to open the lid with it. Real careful. Uh, I hope it's gonna hold. What have we got here? Steps leading down? Hmm. Huh. The gap is big enough to squeeze through. I only hope that my rig up doesn't collapse as soon as I'm in. Where's this then? Looks like the inside of a tower. And here's some kind of crater in the floor. Looks like something's exploded here. Looks like there wasn't any fire. There's no charring in the rubble. An explosion which caused this kind of damage in a closed space? So Richard wouldn't have stood a chance. The safe survived the explosion undamaged, I'd say. These burns may have well come from a welding set. The kid reckoned that Angelina looked real pleased with herself. Somehow she must have got the safe open. Now what have we got here? A combination lock. But not with numbers, with letters. <laughs>
Sheesh. I can only guess here. Posta survived the explosion relatively undamaged. It was probably hit squarely by the pressure wave and then pressed against the wall. Hmm. Here's a table showing the occurrences of blood groups. Torch. Angelina was using some heavy gear, but it doesn't look like it's been used. The safe wasn't cut open. Works perfectly, but it's not going to help me much with the safe. Piece of plastic tube. Okay, I'll stick it in. Rather light. The walls of the pipe are thin. Maybe it belongs to part of a ventilation system or something. That wouldn't do anything. The rip in the hose is a good yard long. And the tube isn't even 18 inches. I can't mend the hose like that. The piece with the rip can't be repaired. I'll cut that bit out. Okay. Now I've got two halfway usable hose ends. Yeah, great. The tube fits exactly in the hose. Not. If I heat it up first, it ought to expand. And then I could connect the two hose ends. If I heat up the plastic tube, it'll expand. Then the ends of the hose will fit into the tube. I think that'll do. It fits. Just wait a bit while it cools down. Done. It's a pretty close fit on the hose. No more water's getting out of there. When the water flows through it, that'll cool the tube down completely. Whether the crack goes back to the explosion or appeared later, I don't know. Whichever the case, it doesn't look good. Logic tells me that the tower has been standing like this for years, and so the chances are pretty damn slim that it's all of a sudden gonna collapse this minute, just while I'm here. But my gut tells me that I shouldn't stay here any longer than I absolutely need to.
chains, wrought iron rings, crudely hewn stones. Not exactly what you'd call modern craftsmanship. Rather more like a Frankenstein movie. There's paper lying everywhere. Most of it's soaked through from rainwater. Huh. Here's a folder. Oh, it's only wet on one corner. Newspaper cuttings. Hmm. From 1981. Twelve years ago. William Gordon in fatal accident, Willow Creek. William Gordon fell on Tuesday from his studio in the tower of his home due to unknown causes. Blah, blah, blah. William Gordon, suicide. As the police today announced, we are now dealing with the fall of the master of Blackmere Castle close by the village of Willow Creek. In all probability, a suicide. Here's another piece a week later. Grim serial murders in Willow Creek. Blah, blah, blah. Latest victim of Bloody Trail, Vic Valley, just 12 years old. According to police sources, his body was found next to a stone circle in the woods. The condition of the corpse gives reason to suspect a ritual killing. Another two weeks later. Main suspect in Willow Creek murders identified. As Scotland Yard has announced, it has been established that at three of the murder scenes, there are signs which suggest the involvement of Samuel Gordon, the grandson of William Gordon, who was killed last month. Samuel Gordon was found dead two weeks ago at the foot of one of the towers of Blackmere Castle. Apparently the tower from which his grandfather had previously Huh. Reports about the murder fest in Willow Creek 12 years ago. No wonder that Sir Richard was interested in it. William was his brother. Newspaper articles about Samuel Gordon's killing spree. Oh, that must have been the story at the time. Gruesome ritual murder, violence, mystical hocus pocus. An absolute feast for the press. Here's a table showing the occurrences of blood groups. metal holder with several blood samples. The boy mentioned that there's a number on each sample, and there's a list of names stuck on the back of the safe. Now let's see... Weird. The numbers 1 to 5 are missing. That's... Richard Gordon and William Gordon. Gordon's blood. What does Angelina want with that? Does she need it herself or something? Does she want to stop it getting into other people's hands? Ugh, whatever it is, I can't trust her anymore. She's in this thing somehow and she's lied to me. I ought to drive back to Willow Creek. Maybe she's turned up there in the meantime. And then... then we'll see.
There's nothing else in it apart from the blood samples. And I know what I had to know. Angelina was after the Gordon's blood. The question is, why? And what have I got to do with it? I can't get through there. The passage has collapsed a few yards in. Yeah, but no vampires. Shame. Well, what is it then? A car! The other man's back! The other kidnapper? Huh. Uh, thanks for the warning. Okay, run home and, and tell your parents they should call the police, okay? Cool. I've got to be careful. Tom won't be too happy that I've disappeared. <laughs> 